all of a sudden there's like synthesizer keyboard music come out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, that's what I was just saying. Yeah, it just yeah. sounds goofy and it really takes you out of the movie where you're like, okay, well, what are you trying to be here? I mean, first you're trying to be Alfred Hitchcock. Now you're trying to do Peter Sellers. Yeah. I, 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 I'm not, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of like wondering what, what, what am I? Expect? That's a great point, what, man. What, what am I to expect here now? That yeah, wasn't yeah. a problem for me because like I said, I felt like it was lighter, but what was the real big problem with me for, for, with me for this film is that both leads, okay, are like they know exactly what they want to do like they're like i have this character i've watched all these films i mean angelina jolie especially she really gets it i mean she's gorgeous she is that person that every head in the room turns when you see walk into it here because she's got that kind of grace kelly class here but they feel like the first time they even talked was walking onto the set it feels like they didn't exchange notes and there's absolutely no real chemistry between the two of them you're absolutely right i was just about to say that's that's another one of the biggest flaws i had with this film was I felt no chemistry be- be- between the two. It just, it did feel like they were just reading lines cold to each other because th- that's my biggest problem is I felt no connection between these two and, and I didn't even, it, it didn't make any sense to me even towards the end where all of a sudden they have this bond where it just felt way too forced, just way too forced where I felt like, I feel like I missed like a big chunk of, of a scene where they were actually together being intimate or sharing something about their lives together that really made them bond but i i didn't get that so it, it really as the film progressed i just didn't i didn't feel anything well, you know what why they even cared about each other yeah there are sparks definitely just absolutely absent in these scenes it makes you wonder why they didn't get brad pitt instead oh yeah he'd probably just be tired <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you get to hire johnny depp just to babysit the kids uh, i think maybe it came across too goofy sometimes because i think johnny depp was miscast I don't think he should have been in this role. I think uh, when he's trying to play an ordinary guy, as he is here, he, he is playing it a little bit too goofy. It doesn't work. They needed to get a person who we could buy as an ordinary guy who blends right in because he does not, whether it be because of his crazy hair or whether it be because of his face. Should have been Sam Rockwell. <laughs> it, 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 it could have. Yeah. It, I mean, it's, it's somebody of that nature. It's interesting you, interesting you bring that up because Johnny Depp is known for being a great actor, but he almost never plays a regular guy. When he does, it's, you get something like Nick of Time. Oh, where it's God. Like, at, at this point, he can't, honestly, because of all his roles. He, he just can't. <laughs> I don't think anybody can buy that. And then maybe that yeah. was part of the problem is how we picture them really is like well they're both royalty so mm-hmm. it's kind of hard for us to like picture them like that whereas if you got some somebody who we considered not a schlub but someone who's <laughs> most definitely not an A-list actor well, to yeah. play that and role. And that is the fault of the casting director with, 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 with this movie um, but the, 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 other, the, the other biggest problem that I had with this movie was the end was, was the end where they uh, they explain to you what exactly is going on and it's one of those endings that almost ruins the entire movie oh, uh, no. to where you're like okay this seems like you just kind of made this up on the spot because maybe your ending wasn't all that interesting to begin with or you had no idea where you really wanted to go with this story um, but it really just it, it really just it almost insulted me to where I'm like Really? You're going to expect me to buy that? See, I suspected really? from the beginning that that was going to be the Which case. Which is the thing is... So yeah, I didn't think yeah. it felt made up at all. I was like, okay, well, this seems like this is where this is going to go eventually. And sure enough, it does. And it's silly, and it's implausible, but it's not... It's not impossible, and it feels like exactly what they used to do with these type of movies back in the day. Yeah, they well, always had that cute twist at the end, like that, to make it even more romantic. Maybe, you know? maybe that's the problem because I've seen it before. But it, it it is one of those endings where you're just like, come, come on, man. I mean, you're like, yeah, you give me a fucking. It's you told nice. me the ending too, and I was yeah. just like. You know something that just seems like a, a thing you did not have to do. This should, this should have been more of what we saw before, just an old-fashioned story of romance and mistaken identity and a spy thriller. And maybe if we had been rooting more for the Johnny Depp character in this, we would have bought more into that ending. It would have been like, you know what? I don't care that silly. I still enjoyed it because I'm so happy yeah. that things work out. Yeah. You know, but the fact that you're not really buying their relationship at all doesn't help sell that. <laughs> yeah. one and, I, and, I, and I think uh, no, Johnny Depp is a great actor. I think he can play an average guy. I just think here that they. they had a role that they were really trying to push like maybe it's the writing they, like, hey this guy's just an average guy so he has to act way too surprised when he's right. somebody like Angelina Jolie sits down next to him I'm Elise I'm Frank that's a terrible name <laughs> it's the only one I've got maybe we can find you another okay what brings you to Venice you read spy novels I'm a mysterious woman on a train you tell me what my story is. 
Okay. Um, I think you'd be a diplomatic attaché. Mm -hmm. Or maybe a girl from East Germany whose father's been kidnapped. And they're blackmailing you into stealing something for them. Probably a microfilm. It's usually microfilm involved. What awaits me? Trouble, certainly. Danger. Oh, yeah. You'll most likely be shot at in less than two chapters. Hmm. But I, I didn't see all the movie. I had to leave a little more than halfway through, so I'm not going to even rate the film. He was just but, a tourist. Yeah, I was just, <laughs> just, I was just, just walking my way through the movie. <laughs> over oh, here, go. you'll see the scene where Johnny Depp. Is... <laughs> I, looked over, I looked over at Cyrus and was like, man, Corey must be taking a huge shit. He's like, oh, this is a great ending. <laughs> he had some hot girl come sit next to him and, and entice him out of the theater. Yeah. yeah sure. I had some hot girl well, sit to me. Once you got outside, you see in the light. <laughs> <laughs> she sat next to him in the stall when I was taking a shit. <laughs> hey, you got a TP? <laughs> but no, I, I I was enjoying what I saw, just not entirely. Like, yeah, some parts of it were a little goopy. I mean, Johnny Depp falling off of a pier and crashing into a, a bumbling Italian p yeah. policia who's like... <laughs> I know, see, I thought that was cute. That fit the tone totally for me. And it didn't go too far with it. If, the, if they had keep coming back to that cop, I would have been like, okay, this is irritatingly quaint, okay? But that's just like, okay, just a moment, and no, it's over. It didn't Never bother me. It just, I, it just stood out. It was just like, hey, you mm -hmm. know, I, I don't need you to take it this far, but you could have... It, it bends a little bit. Dumb break. But, I mean, everything else in here, you can predict, but not to a bad level. It's to a comfortable level. We, I mean... There's enough going on here where you walk in, you see what's happening, you know what it is. Uh, Paul Bettany plays the the you know the flustered uh, Scotland Yard inspector who can't <laughs> catch the mysterious guy. You, he knows his role. You got Rufus Sewell, Sewell as the, the guy. Other. Remember when I was supposed to be a big star by now? <laughs> yeah. Playing that yeah. guy. He's like looking at the camera. I'm, I'm still handsome. And, Look at me. And the funny thing is, that it, throughout the whole movie, you can tell that guy is really he he's he's playing a role in a whole nother movie. Yeah. <laughs> that does not match the tone of what they're what what we're watching. Wait. Wait, wait Paul Bettany or Rufus Sewell? No, Rufus Sewell, Sewell. who's like, who just, every, you see him every once in a while, do, 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 and you're like, really? Like, that's not important. And by the end, now you're just going, man, poor Rufus Sewell. <laughs> I really like that guy. I do too. He, yeah, but he's always he got these roles where he's trying to take the hero's woman. So you, he's like, yo, you can't succeed. Like, <laughs> well, they hardly even give him any room to talk here. Yeah, it, literally. It's he almost like, like he wants to come in and act like, all right, like, shh, shh, not yet, not yet. Just you're you're, sit you're sit being back. paid he scale, looks, sit he down. Looks <laughs> he looks frustrated at the characters he's interacting with and at his agent. Yeah, <laughs> Rufus, one more time. Can we get somebody else? I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry, you guys. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll sit down. <laughs> and then meat. Timothy Dalton is sort of the head boss who also is just there so people can go, Look, it's Timothy Dalton. Yeah, and then he's which I really wanted to see more of him. Which yeah. maybe you did. I wasn't there. <laughs> uh, no, not really. I mean, to, he's a he's a sort of a Deus Ex Machina towards the end. It's the uh, bad. You know, we well, forgot all about Timothy Dalton's character, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> but you know, yeah, I, I you know I I, I did uh, enjoy what I saw. By the point that I was leaving, it was like it's a little bit too familiar for me. I mean, they don't try to do anything different. You can say that, oh well, this is that type of movie. But I, I always think like you know these. It, we've seen so much of that. It gets to a point if you haven't seen enough of that, then go ahead and repeat it. If you've seen it over and over again and it's that predictable, throw a little something different in there. But the movie was so beautiful and the romance was so nice that even as silly as it got sometimes that uh, I, it was a matinee film for me. But, okay. you know, see, I don't know. I thought it's silliness harking back to stuff we haven't seen in a long time. I want to see more stuff like this and not of the let's throw in absolutely everything. It's got to be bigger and huger and more explosive than the last movie like this. I mean, this is the answer to, to film problems like Night and Day and fucking what was that other even worse one with Catherine Heigl? Killers. Yeah, yeah, the Killers. Yeah. This is the type of film that if they want to do a spy romantic, though, this is what they should make. I mean, not that that those shitty films. Uh, but even so, like I said, it had its biggest problem is really just that, like I said, there was no chemistry between the leads on the whole. Um, the, you know, you can't not admire both those actors. They, they're really good at what they do. They just didn't seem like they really liked each other that much. But I, I'm going to give it a high matinee because I really think it is worth going to see in the theater. But don't, you know, don't get too excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it seemed like uh, Johnny Depp and, and Angelina Jolie were, it seemed like they were doing a favor for a friend while making these movies. <laughs> <laughs> or taking a trip, like you said. <laughs> exactly. That's the first thing I thought about. It's like, hey, you know what? This is just. This is just one of those check movies where I, we, I get a nice check and I get a really kick ass vacation with a really hot fucking broad. Man, hey, maybe there's a competition over who was the prettiest. Yeah. <laughs> that could have been, I mean, it, it, 
Those probably would have made a far better movie. A pretty than, off <laughs> than, than what I saw because yeah, it looked like the director seemed the director and the writer seemed like yeah they were fans of of films like North by Northwest, but and 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 probably the the Pink, the Pink Panther films, but uh, it, it just really didn't it did it didn't mesh well. It, it definitely seemed a little too forced, and uh, I just honestly I, I found myself kind of bored with it. Besides the beautiful scenery in Venice, I'm like you know I'll just go to Venice. I don't really need to. Just, waste my time in that theater because watching this film I felt like I felt like Jesus Christ I need to travel because I feel like a goddamn bum and why <laughs> and why am I not beautiful like <laughs> Angelina Jolie why, how did I get screwed in the deal <laughs> it's okay I'll get you a Johnny Depp mask for your yeah. birthday well, thank you what was your rating <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna, actually I'm going to give it a rental. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, there there are little things I, I definitely think uh, Johnny Depp and Angelina as far as saying anything good um they were fun to watch but that's about it. Uh, as far as their characters are concerned I yeah they had no chemistry but there were moments where it was fun to watch. I guess you that's know, true. You know you, when I say the romance it was like it's fun when it's being funny but when it actually gets down to seeing them have to be even somewhat vaguely intimate whether it's real or not it's like I, yeah, I don't know if I'm buying this you're watching you're going wow this is actually well filmed and it's well written those sequences but neither one look like well neither one of them looks like they're into it yeah it looks you like they're having fun when they're being silly about it yeah. like when she first meets him he's all flustered yeah it's when like, they're being yeah. goofy it works yeah yeah uh, you know what this movie could use though we were talking about who would have been better cast than Johnny Depp obviously what a comeback film this would have been for Eddie Murphy because it would have been <laughs> the return of Victor Maitland Jesus. you could have a play <laughs> actually. it could just be Beverly Hills Cop 4 you know why not yeah, that would be a huge success. But, but then you couldn't get Angelina Jolie. You'd have to get a transvestite, like maybe like Cher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Eddie Murphy would have to be in a fat suit. <laughs> look, Judge Reinhold needs work, okay? Hey, look, so does Sheila E. But I don't know <laughs> By the way, the villain at the end of this movie is revealed to be the director. Because his name is Florian Henkel von Donnerschmark. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the guy that took over after Dr. Doom left yeah. Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, the interview with Corey's going to do them later where yeah. he's stroking a white Persian cat the entire time. Yeah. Didn't that guy try to conjure up the Cthulhu for Hitler? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, something like that. World War II. Yeah. Machine yeah. That, that made it snow all over the world. Yeah, he, he yeah. constantly. Simon says. Yeah, he's, all, he's constantly so. killing second AD directors and best boys. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> get to me another second AD. <laughs> You, you have failed my shot for the last time. <laughs> you know he will be with us. You wish to report a murder. Attempted murder. That's not so serious. Not when you downgrade it from murder. But when you upgrade it from room service, it's quite serious. I don't regret it, you know, kissing you.